Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited for this video today. Today, Went Wild sponsored this video and I'm super excited to talk about some new products they have coming out this fall. They have these amazing paint palettes. They come in four shades. I have these two here. They're amazing cream products that are very pigmented and easy to blend and I do use both of these palettes in the video. I am so excited about them. I'm going to go buy the other two because I need them all. And then they sent over their zombie blushes. They have three shades of this. These are amazing color shifting blushes. Like, oh my God, they're so cool. I'm definitely using them as an eyeshadow. You can see here the nice color shift that they have. It's awesome. And then they are also coming out with these makeup sponges. They're available in four different shades as well. I love this purple shade. Oh my God, is that not the cutest thing ever? Uh, and then of course, my absolute favorite products that they came out with are these really awesome Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. Like look at those shades. They are perfect for Halloween. Uh, look how bright and vibrant they are. Let me tell you guys, when I tried to wipe these off, they did not come off. But thankfully, Wet n Wild is giving you guys, my subscribers, 25% off. I will have the link up on the screen for you guys, and there will be a link to buy all the products down in the description box below. But let's go ahead and jump into this beautiful rainbow clown. Okay, so first of all, I'm just taking that sponge and this Wet n Wild foundation, and I just want a really even canvas. Uh, I, I just don't want any of my freckles or color to shine through, and of course, concealing those dark circles. It was a long night last night, and Lord knows I needed it. I love this sponge. It blends out super, super well, and uh, of course, I wet it before I used it. Now I'm just setting all that foundation, and now I'm going in with that color palette, and I'm just trying to use all the pinks and Kind of ombre it down into a rainbow you'll see here what I'm doing um, I'm just adding color under a color under a color and blending it out with that sponge and these just are so pigmented look at them they're so easy to work with I love this blue I feel like I need to use it in another tutorial and just do something using blues because it's so pretty like these go on like a dream I played with them not that long ago uh, and used them as eyeshadow with like an actual brush and they actually blended out really nicely. But as you can see here, I'm just grabbing colors and going down in this nice ombre and blending it out. I'm using my fingers as well just to help get that blend going and that blue and the yellow made that pretty green there too. And now I'm just adding that purple to my lower lash line and you'll see me kind of blend it out on with my finger. I tend to do this a lot in this tutorial is just using my finger. The warmth of the finger just worked so well. And you guys don't have to do it in the same way I am. You can just add color and do different, you know, combinations of color. It's up to you. But anything left, I went ahead and put that light pink one all over my skin. And I just felt like I needed some orange, so I popped some orange on my nose because, you know, why not? And then I feel like I needed more purple down there, so I just had a little bit more of that lavender. And now I went in with the Wet n Wild Rainbow Highlighter, which came in super handy. Um, and I just kind of set all that cream because I didn't want it sliding around or me bumping it and it moving. Um, but I did end up going back over it. I mean, look at that yellow. Oh my God, it's so perfect. But I ended up going back over it with some loose setting powder just because it was a little bit too shimmery for me. Um, and now, of course, I'm just doing a really intense winged liner. I go back and intensify it even more, and now I'm taking this Wet n Wild lip liner. Um, I thought I wanted the brows to stay pink, but then I kind of changed my mind and went in with their black liquid liner and kind of created some not on fleek brows, like really skinny brows, like 1990 brows, um, and then just added a little point. I, I looked up a bunch of clown pictures just to get some you know inspiration and I really liked how they had these lines coming from their eyes I don't know exactly what it is um, but it was fun to do and now I'm just making them longer and adding some dots just because I wanted to add some dots you don't have to do this you can do whatever you want um, and I'm extending that wing I'm going to extend it on the outer and inner corners you will see um, just to make it look more exaggerated um, I was having a hard time with the liquid liner poking myself in the eye, so I just kind of put it on a brush 
and uh, did it that way. And then I'm just adding some more dots because the world needs more dots. Now I'm just taking that same um, pink lip liner and putting that on my nose. Now I'm taking this awesome blush because I just need it to use this because it's so beautiful and adding it as my contour. I deleted the clip by mistake of me putting the lip liner on my lips, but I just put it on my lips and outlined it in black. And now I'm going back in with that blush and contouring some more um, just because I needed it to be more intense. But anyway, that was the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget the link to all these products are in the description box below. I love you and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.